Hi, how are you doing? This is Analysis by Doing. I'm Manu Vasudevan, Data Analyst and Certified AWS Solutions Architect at your service. Welcome to Analysis by Doing, a series of data analysis sessions in which we do hands-on projects analyzing data using Amazon Web Services. The target audience is aspiring data analysts and AWS cloud enthusiasts. What good is any knowledge when not put to good use? We will exercise our AWS skills on the terrain of data science. Join us in our data analytics journey in the vehicle of Amazon Web Services. Welcome to the session on survey data analysis. We will review our portfolio website before the survey data analysis project. Create a new environment for survey data analysis in our analysis EC2 instance. Download a real world survey data set from Stack Overflow on which we will perform the following analyses and visualizations. Read in the data set, data munging and wrangling, developer profile which includes the following, key territories, professional experience, developer roles, education levels, demographics, and verify our numbers with Stack Overflow every step of the way. Then update index.html to publish our survey data analysis project. We will upload the new survey data analysis project file to the S3 portfolio bucket. We will then review our updated portfolio website after the survey data analysis project. Next, we will stop but not terminate the analysis EC2 instance. Finally, we will perform best practices, review our billing dashboard and budget alarm. <music> To keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding cloud analysts. Hit the bell icon below to actively follow along with the rest of our series. Having summarized the developer roles of Stack Overflow survey respondents, We'll scrunch their education numbers. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags D education. Then hit Alt and Enter. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in three hashtags educational attainment. Then hit Alt and Enter. Look in the survey PDF page 4 under Education, Work, and Career. Copy the relevant question, which of the following best describes the highest level of formal education that you've completed, into the clipboard buffer. Assign the copied text to the search string. Key in the code, search str equals which of the following best describes the highest level of formal education that you've completed? Search str, then hit Alt and Enter. Call the lookWhere function with the search string. Key in the code lookWhere within parentheses search str, then hit Alt and Enter. We need to work with the end level column in the survey data frame. We also need the profession of the respondents to understand profession-wise education level. Look in the survey PDF, page 2, under Basic Information. Copy the relevant question, which of the following options best describes you today, into the clipboard buffer. Assign the copied text to the search string. Key in the code search str equals which of the following options best describes you today. Search str. Then hit Alt and Enter. We need to find which column in the results data set contains the answer. Call the lookWhere function with the search string. Key in the code lookWhere within parentheses search str. Then hit Alt and Enter. We also need to work with the main branch column in the survey data frame. 
extract the main branch and add level columns in the survey data frame to a separate data frame. Key in the code edudf equals surveydf bracketed list main branch comma add level dot copy function edudf then hit alt and enter. Since this question is force response true, we need to deal with invalid responses in the add level column. Check if any nulls exist in the edu data frame. Key in the code edudf.isna function dot sum function. Then hit alt and enter. The add level column has 313 null values. We will plug in undisclosed for null add level values. Key in the code edudf dot add level dot fill na within parentheses undisclosed comma in place equals true then hit alt and enter check if any nulls exist in the edu data frame key in the code edudf dot is na function dot sum function then hit alt and enter the edu data frame does not have null values anymore calculate the number of professional developers key in the code Professional responses equals edudf within brackets edudf dot main branch double equal to I am a developer by profession dot shape within bracket zero. Professional responses. Then hit alt and enter. Check the education level breakups. Key in the code edudf dot add level dot value counts function. Then hit alt and enter. Note the 313 respondents who do not disclose their education level. Create a data frame with the sorted value counts in the add level column. Key in the code. Add level df equals pd dot data frame within parentheses edu df dot add level dot value counts function dot reset index function add level df. Then hit alt and enter. We need to fix the column headings. Rename the columns of the add level data frame. Key in the code. Add level df dot columns equals within brackets add level comma responses add level df. Then hit alt and enter. Add a percentage column to the add level data frame. Key in the code. Add level df within brackets percentage equals round within parentheses add level df dot responses divided by sum of add level df dot responses times 100 comma 2 add level df then hit alt and enter press escape and then m to make the new cell a markdown cell in the new cell click and key in two hashtags verify with stack overflow click a tag reference to education add level page target equals underscore blank here and a tag to verify with stack overflow then hit alt and enter. Click on the link to go to Stack Overflow's analysis page and verify the numbers. As usual, we have matched the Stack Overflow bar graph numbers precisely. Then close the new browser tab. Draw a horizontal bar chart of the education level represented in the survey by responses. Key in the code. Set the fix size to 12 comma 8. X equals SNS dot bar plot within parentheses data equals add level df dot head within parentheses 10 comma X equals responses comma Y equals add level for I in X dot containers colon X dot bar label within parentheses I PLT dot title within parentheses stack overflow respondents education level then hit alt and enter. Draw a pie chart of the education level represented in the survey by percentages. Key in the code add level pie df equals add level df dot set index within parentheses add level add level pie df dot plot dot pie within parentheses set the fix size to 16 comma 16 comma y equals percentage comma auto pct equals within single quotes percent sign dot 2f two percent signs plt dot title within parentheses stack overflow respondents education level then hit alt and enter press escape and then m to make the new cell a markdown cell in the new cell click and key in 
three hashtags, education levels among professional developers. Then hit Alt and Enter. Create a group by object from the EDU data frame and extract the professional developer records into another data frame. Key in the code prof edu df equals edu df dot group by within parentheses main branch dot get group within parentheses I am a developer by profession prof edu df then hit alt and enter check the education level breakups key in the code prof edu df dot add level dot value counts function then hit alt and enter Note the 122 professional developers who do not disclose their education level. Create a data frame with the sorted value counts in the add level column. Key in the code prof add level df equals pd dot data frame within parentheses prof edu df dot add level dot value counts function dot reset index function prof add level df then hit alt and enter. We need to fix the column headings. Rename the columns of the prof at level data frame. Key in the code prof at level df dot columns equals within brackets at level comma responses prof at level df. Then hit alt and enter. Add a percentage column to the prof at level data frame. Key in the code prof at level df within brackets percentage equals round within parentheses prof at level df dot responses divided by sum of prof at level df dot responses times 100 comma 2 prof at level df then hit alt and enter press escape and then m to make the new cell a markdown cell in the new cell click and key in two hashtags verify with stack overflow click a tag reference to education at level prof page target equals underscore blank here end a tag to verify with Stack Overflow. Then hit Alt and Enter. Click on the link to go to Stack Overflow's analysis page and verify the numbers. Once again, we have done an encore of the Stack Overflow analysis. Then close the new browser tab. Draw a horizontal bar chart of the education level represented by professional developers. Key in the code. Set the fix size to 12 comma 8. Axe equals SNS dot bar plot within parentheses data equals prof at level df dot head within parentheses 10 comma x equals responses comma y equals ed level. For i in axe dot containers colon axe dot bar label within parentheses i plt dot title within parentheses stack overflow developers education levels then hit alt and enter. Draw a pie chart of the education level represented by professional developers in percentages. Key in the code prof at level pi df equals prof at level df dot set index within parentheses ed level. Prof at level pi df dot plot dot pi within parentheses set the fig size to 16 comma 16 comma y equals percentage comma auto pct equals within single quotes percent sign dot 2f two percent signs plt dot title within parentheses stack overflow developers education levels then hit alt and enter three fourth of stack overflow respondent developers hold masters or bachelor degrees press control s to save the notebook Finally, after having scrunched the respondents' education levels, let's look at their demographics. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags E demographics. Then hit Alt and Enter. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in three hashtags age then hit alt and enter extract the age and main branch columns in the survey data frame to a separate data frame key in the code age df equals survey df bracketed list age comma main branch dot copy function 
hgf.dropna within parentheses subset equals within brackets age comma in place equals true hdf then hit alt and enter since we know that age is not a force response true question we have dropped the invalid responses in the age column check if any nulls exist in the age data frame key in the code hdf.isna function dot sum function then hit alt and enter the age data frame does not have any null values Create a data frame with the sorted value counts in the age column. Key in the code age level df equals pd dot data frame within parentheses age df dot age dot value counts function dot reset index function age level df. Then hit alt and enter. We need to fix the column headings. Rename the columns of the age data frame. Key in the code age level df dot columns equals within brackets age comma responses age level df then hit alt and enter add a percentage column to the age data frame key in the code age level df within brackets percentage equals round within parentheses age level df dot responses divided by sum of age level df dot responses times 100 comma 2 age level df then hit alt and enter Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags verify with Stack Overflow. Click A tag reference to demographics age page target equals underscore blank here and A tag to verify with Stack Overflow. Then hit Alt and Enter. Click on the link to go to Stack Overflow's analysis page and verify the numbers. Bingo, ladies and gentlemen, we have an exact match. Then close the new browser tab. Draw a horizontal bar chart of the age level represented by respondents. Key in the code. Set the fig size to 12, 8. X equals SNS dot bar plot within parentheses. Data equals age level DF, comma X equals responses comma y equals age. For i in ax.containers colon ax.bar label within parentheses i. plt.title within parentheses stack overflow respondents age levels. Then hit alt and enter. Draw a pie chart of the age levels represented by respondents in percentages. Key in the code age level pi df equals age level df dot set index within parentheses age age level pi df dot plot dot pi within parentheses set the fix size to 16 comma 16 comma y equals percentage comma auto pct equals within single quotes percent sign dot 2f two percent signs plt dot title within parentheses Stack Overflow Respondents Age Levels. Then hit Alt and Enter. Almost three-fourths of Stack Overflow Respondents are below 35 years of age. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in three hashtags age among professional developers. Then hit Alt and Enter. Create a group by object from the age data frame and extract the professional developer records into another data frame. Key in the code prof hdf equals hdf dot group by within parentheses main branch dot get group within parentheses I'm a developer by profession prof hdf then hit alt and enter. Create a data frame with the sorted value counts in the age column. Key in the code prof age level df equals PD dot data frame within parentheses prof hdf dot age dot value counts function dot reset index function prof age level df then hit alt and enter we need to fix the column headings rename the columns of the prof age level data frame key in the code prof age level df dot columns equals within brackets age comma responses prof age level df then hit alt and enter. Add a percentage column to the prof age level data frame. Key in the code prof age level df 
within brackets percentage equals round within parentheses prof age level df dot responses divided by sum of prof age level df dot responses times 100 comma 2 prof age level df then hit alt and enter press escape and then m to make the new cell a markdown cell in the new cell click and key in two hashtags verify with stack overflow click a tag Reference to demographics age prof page, target equals underscore blank, here end a tag to verify with Stack Overflow. Then hit Alt and enter. Click on the link to go to Stack Overflow's analysis page and verify the numbers. Yet again, our numbers are as good as theirs. Then close the new browser tab. Draw a horizontal bar chart of the age level represented by professional developers. Key in the code. Set the fix size to 12 comma 8. Ax equals SNS dot bar plot within parentheses data equals prof age level df comma x equals responses comma y equals age. For i in ax dot containers colon ax dot bar label within parentheses i. PLT dot title within parentheses Stack Overflow Developers Age Levels. Then hit Alt and Enter. Draw a pie chart of the age levels represented by professional developers in percentages. Key in the code prof age level pi df equals prof age level df dot set index within parentheses age. Prof age level pi df dot plot dot pi within parentheses Set the fig size to 16, comma 16, comma y equals percentage, comma auto PCT equals within single quotes percent sign dot 2f two percent signs. PLT dot title within parentheses stack overflow developers age levels. Then hit alt and enter. Almost three fourths of stack overflow professional developers are below 35 years of age. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags to create a YML file with the list of packages in the current environment. Then hit Alt and Enter. Capture the current Conda environment name and the packages in it. Key in the code exclamation mark Conda env export right angle bracket environment file dot YML. Then hit Alt and Enter. Review the environment file. Key in the code. Exclamation mark type environment file dot YML. Then hit Alt and Enter. The environment file has the environment name and the requisite package names and their versions. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags to create a new Conda environment with packages installed from a YAML file. Step 1. Ensure that the Conda base environment is active. Step 2. Ensure correct destination Conda environment name in the name section, first line, of the YAML file. Step 3. Run the Anaconda PowerShell command Conda env create minus f environment file dot yml then hit alt and enter press escape and then m to make the new cell a markdown cell in the new cell click and key in two hashtags download this project notebook data files and environment setup file then hit alt and enter press escape and then m to make the new cell a markdown cell in the new cell click and key in right click and select save link as to download a tag href equals survey data analysis dot ipynb this notebook close a tag then hit alt and enter press escape and then m to make the new cell a markdown cell in the new cell click and key in click a tag reference to stack overflow developer survey 2021 zip here end a tag to go and download the stack overflow survey data set then hit Alt and Enter. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. 
In the new cell, click and key in. Click a tag href equals environmentfile.yml target equals underscore blank here and a tag to download this project's Anaconda environment setup YAML file. Then hit Alt and Enter. Click beside any empty cell. From the top menu bar, click Edit, then Delete Cells. Or in Command Mode, press the D key twice to delete the current cell. From the top menu bar, click Kernel, then Restart and Run All. Confirm by clicking on Restart and Run All Cells. This will take more than a few minutes to complete, so please be patient. Wait for the gray circle in the top right corner of the notebook to become and stay white. After the rerun completes, review all the output on all cells and ensure that no cell has error output. Your project documentation now includes the list of libraries and their versions used. Click on the File Menu option on the menu bar on top. Click Save and Checkpoint to save the notebook as survey data analysis in your previously chosen working directory. Click on the File Menu option on the menu bar on top. Choose Download As, then choose HTML. Click on the up arrow next to the downloaded file. Click on Open. View the survey data analysis.html file. Note that the JPEG image files are not in the download folder. Close the browser window. Close the Anaconda PowerShell command window. Open File Explorer. In the left pane of File Explorer, expand the C colon, Users, Administrator, ABD Portfolio 1 folder. Move the downloaded survey data analysis.html to the Project 6 subdirectory. Click on Project 6 folder. Double click on Survey Data Analysis.html. View your final Survey Data Analysis.html. Close the browser window. Close File Explorer. With the demographic analysis, we have completed the analysis and visualization of the survey data. Let's update index.html to reference our survey data analysis project page. <laughs> Thank you.
To keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding cloud analysts. Hit the bell icon below to actively follow along with the rest of our series.